Guardians of Atlanta. Season 1, The Legend of Stone Mountain. Episode 1, Cyclone Jones, The Long Summer. Poem 4, Telling Connor. The boat shifted, creaked, and bobbed, in the wind on Lake Lanier. But Connor and Cirrus both enjoyed it. They didn't have any fear. Connor loved to sit and fish, and Cirrus loved the spray. And they loved to be with one another, on any given day. The baseball game was two years ago, Cirrus was now 15. She felt much more confident in herself, and she was bursting at the seams, to tell Connor her one secret. Her best friend had to know. And she figured now was the best time as any, she took deep breaths as they rode. The spot they settled on the lake, was hidden among the trees. A great spot for catching catfish. But they were tossed about by the breeze. It wasn't a very great day to fish, but they enjoyed it anyway. The overcast sky and high winds, made their canoe rock and sway. Connor. Cirrus began to speak, I have something to tell you. Fish ain't bitin' anyway. Go ahead sigh. What's new? It's a story about when I was born. That only me and my parents know. But it's time that I told my best friend, about Seek's visit years ago. Seek. Connor said with a laugh. That boy on the wrestling team. No, stupid. Not him. My guardian angel. She screamed. What? Connor said with amazement, and turned his full attention to her. My parents were both in the farmhouse, and Mama was sick and sore. Daddy prayed and asked God to save her, and to have mercy and save me. Then an angel appeared to my dad, and the angel told him about me. He said I would control the weather, as far as I can see. And that I would know love and loss, but through it, I would see. Whoa, that's a good one, Cirrus. Your stories have been getting good. It's not a story. It really happened. Cirrus's anger soared. When I control the weather, it's like my body quakes. I feel a release when I let the rain go, and then I feel. Tap the brakes. Cirrus, I really want to believe you, but I just heard you say this, your guardian angel made you make it rain, and somehow it feels like bliss. It sounds like you're just using the bathroom. The feeling is very close. Connor couldn't help but laugh. And Cirrus said, this ain't a joke. Suddenly a lightning bolt shattered the clouds, and struck a tree on the bank. Connor stared at the burning tree, and his mind went completely blank. Now do you believe me, Connor? Yes, Cirrus. I do. And that is the tale of how Cirrus Jones told Connor Murdoch, of her powers, in that canoe. He had many questions still to ask, but Cirrus was elated to find, it didn't change their friendship one bit, or the path of Connor's mind. If anything they grew closer once Cirrus took the step to lay her soul before her soulmate and trust God for the rest. Author's Note, Thank you for listening. Please share these stories with your friends. It is my hope that these stories will feed your hunger for fiction and fellowship, and through them, I can feed my family. Visit joshuadavidling.com for more info. God bless, Story Warriors.